is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There, try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Yeah, that's working. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generous. Oh dear. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very handsome. Um, left click for one color, right click for the other. Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Wasn't she bitchy? We're all discussing which character we would be in, which race we would be in Middle Earth. There we go, and through, finally. Right, so we need to get this powered, and presumably with that beam, uh, we're going to need a cube to do it. The cube dispenser is up there, so the first step is to get up to where the cube dispenser is, and how do we do that? We probably jump out of there at speed. Which we can do with this. Like that. Okay, we need a button to dispense the cube. The button is over there. We probably do the same thing, but with there. So right, I think we got this one sorted. Not entirely certain there were leprechauns in the Middle Earth, but if there weren't, there should be. There we go. Alright, button pushed. The blue portal there. And repeat! Get the cube. Direct it at the wall there, so we'll have a bit of blue there. And we'll put the orange one over here. Bingo! Right, and now we need to get up there, so I'm presuming we're going to do the same thing. Okay, this makes sense. Repeat that. Up we go. I'm here. You, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle. And if we put portals here. And here. There we go. That's that. And we can get out. Right. E <laughs> See you later, Dragon Rose. I'd say enjoy your lecture, but that's just mean. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Right, I think that one, yeah, chucks us up here. Oh, that could have been painful. So what do we have here? Right, we have a dropper there. Stuff basically, and a hole down here. Presumably, yeah. I thought we could, we can drop down here to get some acceleration going. So if we get up there, we can redirect the power. But where do we need to redirect it to? And the answer to that question is, I'm not entirely certain at this point. I think there's more behind that window that we didn't look at though. 
There is indeed more behind that window that we didn't look at. There's another jumper there, which should probably get us up to the next level. I think what we need to do is get these down. And we can get these down by turning this off by the looks of it. So that's what we're going to need the cube for. So let's see if we can get the cube. The cube is there. And... Okay, I think we can do that like this. We can. Let's make that there. Okay, and then if we take this up here, we can then use the cube. Lock those go down, and now I'm willing to bet our journey is going to get even more fun. We thump. Right. And can we use this button? We can use this button to get more cubes if we decide we want them. So let's push this button. Gets us one of those. Alright, so let's put that down. Pick that one up. Pick this one up. Drop that like that. And that. He's going to get this a bit further. Right, we'll put that there for now. Actually, we won't put that there for now. We'll put that there for now. And we'll put a portal there. And a portal there. How about there? There, that works. Okay, excellent. Now, finally, we should be able to get to our destination. There we go. Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. <laughs> I, I'm, I like the idea of... Uh... Um, the six, the sixty-inch telly, but I'm, I'm not, not so sold on the ironing clothes, and I've never been sold on the ironing clothes, to be honest with you. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm male. The logic of the, this sort of thing tends to escape me. Uh, you won't see a hobbit unless you look down. They're very short. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. <laughs> okay, so we got to use this to get over there. I'm presuming we do it to start off with like this. Is there anything behind there? Yep. Oh. Only not with seeing my eyes. Okay. Um, yes, he has unfortunately come back in a bit and we still can't destroy him. As much as I'd like to. Right, so if we hop on there. We can now walk over here. But we don't want to do that just yet. I think actually what we want to do is go over there. Let's try that. So, right. We've got a button down there, a cube dispenser up here. So we need to dispense the cube. But that's going to drop down in the water there, most likely. So we're probably going to have to put a bridge of some description to stop it. 
Let's get down here first and give this a try. So that falls into the water and is lost. We can't shoot a beam through it's like that, but that's it. Fortunately, it's carrying on to drop, so we can try something. Yeah, so let's get back first. I think what we need to do is put a beam over there by the looks of it. Let's try that. Yep. Okay, I think I know where we're going with this. Wish me luck, this could be painful. Oh, I've got all the drawing skills of a lemming, so... And trust me, lemmings can't even hold a pen, let alone do a drawing with it. Got it! And back we go. So now we can go over there and do that button, which is this one, that one. Let's drop that off there. Now we've got this, the small task of getting back, which I think we can actually do there. Well, Windows updates, you know, the problem with these, with those is they've got to make sure that there's enough bugs in them. They fix these bugs, so they've got to introduce new ones. And finally, let's just get back over there, and that should get us out. Yep, there we go. Excellent. We you're go. a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. I'm starting to get the feeling she's trying to tell me something. news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. <laughs> well, I've got to be honest with you, Gertie Simmons. If he keeps on calling me a man whore, then you will probably get an entire series on pranking Perfect. someone. It'll all be happening to mod. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Well, I wasn't going to do it. touch anything. Right. Hey, up here. I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I... Ah! Bird! 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 <laughs> okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're going to break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never I wish, saw me. I wish I never saw you. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Is it weird that I press shift in order to sneak when getting close to this edge so I wouldn't fall off? I think I've been playing way too much Minecraft recently. Okay, so we have a button here that drops cubes. We can do that by pressing a button and watching the cube drop. Like that though, it's no good to us whatsoever. I think the first thing we need to do is get somewhere that we can set a portal against that. Get rid of that camera. And the 
question is, where can we go to get a portal against that? Now we're obvious, so what am I missing? Oh, okay, yeah. It is pretty obvious where I should put the put that, yes. Yes. There we go, right. Okay. So now let's make sure we only use blue portals, like that. Now we can push the button and get a cube. Like that. Kinko242, hello. <laughs> ah, Marvin the Paranoid Android. I, I, I gotta be honest with you, uh, one of my heroes is Marvin. You know, here I am, a brain the size of a planet. Right, okay, if we do one there. Find that. That was a slightly less stupid idea than I thought it was going to be. All right. Okay. And we'll put that down there and do the same. We'll stand on it. There we go. I didn't think that was going to work. I thought that was an awfully stupid idea, well but it worked. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. <laughs> Hello, Laura. All right, we are playing Portal 2, by the way, for the people that have just joined us. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. <laughs> okay guys, for everyone who has missed the turrets, here we go. we do with you I don't just want to knock you over I think we're gonna have a bit of fun with you there we go we'll put you down there are you still there I wonder if we can make one shoot at another one. Hey. No, we can't. Okay, we'll go back to your corner with you. Right. Go and collect this one. Yep. Target lost. Right, okay, moving forward. Get rid of you. Oi! Shot me. Rude. Okay, so... Ow. There we go. Oh, we're probably going to want one for that button there. Alright. 
Not getting those ones easily. Ow! Right, let's see where we can get through on that one. Right, looks like we're going to have to go out on the floor behind that one. Though, that one will see us if we go over there, so... Like that. There. Oh! Ended up back where I started. Right, and now we can pick this one up. And get shot. And now we can pick this one up. They're so polite, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, so, so wonderfully bright. Please put me down if you wouldn't mind, old chap. Ha 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 ha. There we go, and out we go. Yep, it doesn't blame us for killing it. Yep, this place has gone to ruin since the last time, hasn't it? testing cycle I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply so you may be confused about the passage of time the point is yesterday was your birthday I thought you'd want to know how nice of you to say and here we go again yeah the world would be a happier place if, uh, if uh, Lados would listen to the turrets. So we need to make the beam of light go all three uh, through all three of these, which I think we can do like this. And then we take this. that and almost it's like we got that portal in the slightly wrong place there we go that was an easy one mm. you know how I'm going to there live forever but you're going to be dead in 60 years well I've been working on a belated birthday present for you well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, old Lady Simmer, but I'm also very glad that we have made you happy, in a way. Um, you know, that's that. it's the reason why we do it, if nothing else, is to give people a laugh. And if it's cheering you up, it, that's great. Right. Okay, moving on. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still... What does she know? Oh wait, it says she has Yo. a medical degree in fashion from France. 